Hi everyone, it's uh, been over a year since I last posted a video uh, and so I just want to say I'm sorry. Uh, I've been really busy and one of the main things, the reason why it's been a long uh, while is that uh, actually I got married <laughs> uh, New Year's Eve 2010. Uh, actually right after gastric sleeve surgery, probably about six months afterwards I started dating. Uh, I met this beautiful, you know, just beautiful, beautiful blonde. And, uh, and uh, within a year we were married. Um, so, you know, I, I tell you, uh, my surgery, changing the way I looked, uh, changed the way I felt, uh, and, you know, increased confidence, uh, increased just a lot of things, really brought a lot of great things out of me, um, too. And so I was able to, I, actually, I probably wouldn't have met my wife uh, if I didn't do the surgery. So that's been, that's been a really life-changing experience for me. It's really kept me busy, too. Um, I know a lot of people uh, have questions about, you know, scarring and as well as loose skin. And I just saw a few comments on there and I haven't got a chance, I haven't had a chance to get through all of, of the comments and things that people have asked about, but I will plan on getting through those. Um, when it comes to scarring, I actually just took a look at, at my stomach and to be honest with you, I can't see hardly any scars. There's probably just a little discoloration, a little bit, it's just a little dark area, but there's really no scarring anymore. Um, so I don't see anything there with when it comes to scarring. When it comes, when it comes to um, loose skin, I don't really have any loose skin either for myself, at least for my weight loss. So it's been a great experience. Um, I, I, I do have, uh, I'll tell you this, so I, we, you know, because of my sister and I's experience, we, you know, when we've had a, a heavy families, we've had quite a few family members actually go through the surgery, and they've used different doctors too. And, and I have seen a little bit of a difference with, with doctors and what type of surgery they got and the type of quality surgery that they got. Um, it seems like some of them have gone to other doctors and they haven't really lost the same type of weight. And I don't know if it's they haven't followed the system well or the surgeries are different. But you know, that's one thing. Make sure you check on the referrals, you check on other doctors uh, and, and reviews and making sure that you go to a, a really highly, high quality doctor. Um, and you know, I think making sure that if you're gonna do this, you know, think of it as like, this is a catapult of time, uh, a catapult for you to have one year to, to lose as much weight as you can with this surgery. Because I think after a year, it is harder. Um, you start sustaining it. You start, you know, you, you may even stretch out your stomach a little bit. You're going to start eating, you know, all types of foods at that point. You're going to watch yourself continue to, um, to stretch it out possibly. So after a full year of, of dating and, and now being married, um, I stayed about 158 right before that time. Uh, after that, over the winter time, I did see myself, um, just gain a little bit of weight actually went up to about 175 and I'm about 175 and 170 just kind of right around there and I'm pretty happy with that weight I would like to be a little bit under 170 and so I do work out twice a week but that's something to keep in mind that this is not something uh, that you'll just completely lose the weight and that's it forever uh, I know there was times I was thinking to myself oh my gosh I'm getting too skinny but now I think to myself oh my gosh you know what I can probably still gain some weight it will be harder because uh, I still have a small stomach, but I still can gain some weight. And so that's why it's important for you to change a lifestyle, to change habits, to kind of retrain your brain uh, when it comes to how you think about food and exercise. So um, I thought I would just kind of give you guys a video. I'll continue to post more and more videos, look at your comments. Uh, there's probably a lot of things I, I would like to share, um, but I haven't had enough time.